If you guys love playing daily fantasy sports, make sure to use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. Currently, I am live streaming. So if over the course of this video, which I will try to streamline, you see me reference the chat in any way, that's why. What's going on, Heat Squad? Appreciate the bits, man. And uh, yeah, we're going to start off with some upgrade points as we sit on currently almost 300 viewers. That's pretty awesome. Link to the Twitch is down in the description if you guys uh, want to ever watch me stream anything else. Call of Duty mainly is what it seems to be. And then maybe Red Dead. We'll see. We're going to start with some upgrades though. Will Hernandez made the Pro Bowl for the second time. Got 24,000 XP. So he has a lot of upgrade points. We're just going to go straight into power. He's going to go up to an 89 overall, most likely. Maybe even a 90. Most likely an 89 though. And just focusing fully on that scheme fit of power. I think we could go pass protector. How good are you? I mean, he's got 87 pass block. He's tremendous. We're just going to keep going power. He is going to sit at that 89 overall with the confidence, I guess. Pass block going up a lot there. I like to see that. 89 run block, 89 pass block. Will Hernandez is one of the best guards in the NFL. So I like his progression. Logan Robeson. The scheme here is power, but... He needs to be a better run blocker. We might see if we can get that here. He goes up to an 81 overall. Show me run block. Any type of run block. We got run block power. I guess that will work. Marquez Williams doesn't really matter. Let's go over to Ryan Ramchek. Might as well go pass protector. Get him up to a 94 overall. Decent upgrades there. We're in a good spot. Appreciate the bits, guys. We also got Derwin James, who is a beast. Julius Manning has no skill points. What did he do? Second Pro Bowl. Defensive back of the year. We're going to go all over the awards and the season stats in a minute. Derwin James is up to a 98 overall. Plus four tackle. I think he had a speed boost in one of the last episodes. But he looks like an absolute maniac. Alex Espinoza, who's healthy now, has... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll look at it now. NFL Interceptions Leader, Linebacker of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Pro Bowl Appearance. That's a lot of XP. Good Lord. <laughs> That's so much things. So many things. So much. To just give to one player, but he won all of it. So, I'm down. We're just going to like alternate between Field General and Run Stopper, probably. Hold on. What's your coverage like? 81 zone? We might do a couple into, into pass coverage, because why not? Up to a 94 overall. This is with confidence, by the way. So just remember, he is sitting at a 92 or a 93 now. But he's going to be up to, like, what, 96 overall without confidence? Yeah, something like that. Let's go pass coverage. See what that does. And, um... Plus three to man. I really want zone coverage for my linebackers. I'm not going to lie. The man coverage doesn't really help me that much. Plus two to zone. Not bad. One skill point remaining. Let's go run stopper. Get the scheme fit back. 97 overall with confidence. Plus three block shed. So this is what Alex Espinosa looks like. 98 tackle. 99 block shed. 93 hit power. 84 zone. 85 speed. He is very good. He's, he's a very good player. Roman Pugh. I'm going to go power rusher again. He can never seem to get power moves for some reason. Hopefully we get it this time. Plus one only. But that is 97. So that's pretty good. And we don't really have a whole lot of other skill points. Saquon has one. He's just hurt right now. He's out for the next two weeks. But thank God we're not playing. Um, What are we on upgrade here? I think we might just go elusiveness. So he is sitting without confidence, 99 overall still. Ball carry vision, carrying something. Pone Gardner, the starting right guard. Might as well go power on him. I think he should be starting. Run block goes up. Is he already a good run blocker? He was. We should have gone like pass block something. The rookie, Kendall Newfeld, I believe out of Texas, right? Am I wrong here? Nope, Texas. Where do you lack? Let's just, it's a punter. Let's go power. It's going to be awareness anyway. So that doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and check out the stats for the year, the awards, things like that. 
and then we'll actually get into the action. But we didn't show the stats in last episode. I was really upset, so I just had to end it. Kyle Aletta, 4,600 yards, not that far away from 5K. 35 touchdowns, 24 interceptions is too many. But we've dealt with Eli, so we're not unfamiliar with that. Saquon Barkley had another great season, just uh, a lot less of a workload as we got the other running backs involved quite a bit. Saquon, though, 1,400 yards, 16 touchdowns. Fantastic season for him. Odell Beckham Jr. led the team in catches, yards, and touchdowns. Had 16 touchdowns. Howard Russell had seven. Saquon with four. Sterling Shepard only with three, but 900 yards. Evan Ingram, 750 yards, three touchdowns. Each player serves a different role. So I'm not really worried about low touchdown numbers. Trent Brown was disgusting down the stretch. The last two games were so bad, but I think that was slider-based. Alex Espinosa had an unbelievable season. A lot of that you can attribute to my usering, especially early. 117 tackles, 11 for loss. Five and a half sacks, 10 interceptions. Good Lord. 10 and a half sacks for OV, 10 and a half for Roman Pugh, 7 and a half for Dalvin Tomlinson, 5 and a half for Espinosa, 5 for BG Goodson is all you really need to know. And then interceptions, 10 for Alex Espinosa, 8 for Derwin James, 7 for... Lorenzo Carter, five Landon Collins, five Jalen Mills, four Morris DuBose, but he was a lockdown corner. He was fantastic for us. Julius Manning got two in his rookie year. Morris DuBose only allowed nine catches the entire year. As we get a new sub, Moosey Goosey, three months in a row. Appreciate it, buddy. Jalen Mills only allowed three. How is that possible? I don't believe that. I've seen him allow way more. He's been getting torched. Defensive touchdowns, two for Lorenzo Carter, one for Alex Espinoza. One for Derwin James. Let's check out awards. See how we did there. Matt Ryan won MVP. Saquon Barkley at number eight. Coach of the year, Doug Marone. Let's go to NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Matt Ryan. Saquon at number two. No other Giants. Defensive Player of the Year, obviously, Alexander Espinoza. We shortened it, if you guys do remember from last draft. Carlos Kershaw was second in Offensive Rookie of the Year voting. That is wild. Defensive Rookie of the Year, of course, Espinoza. Julius Manning at number three. Best QB was Matt Ryan. Kyle Aletta, number five. Best running back, Saquon. Best receiver, Odell was number two. No other Giants. Best O-line, David Bakhtiari. Couple of Cowboys in here. Couple of Redskins, couple of Giants, couple of Falcons. Best D-line was Khalil Mack. Still very new, and we couldn't get him. We have OV, Roman Pugh, back-to-back -back at seven and eight. Best linebacker, Alex Espinoza. Also have Lorenzo Carter in the top five. Best DB, Derwin James. Landon Collins, three. Jalen Mills, four. Morris Dubose, six. Although I feel like he was absolutely our best uh, corner. Aldrich Rosas, five for best kicker. Not too bad. So, I would say overall, this should have been a playoff team. But the NFC East was so tight, we just could not make the playoffs, unfortunately. But with that, let's go ahead and advance to the actual offseason. That a player can not only make his second Pro Bowl... But when defensive back of the year, he's only 25, and he's been downgraded multiple times from, I believe, superstar down to star, and now star down to quick. EA, please, please, please fix regression for Madden 20 and fix this dumb development takeaway stuff. He won defensive back of the year, and he's not hes not developing fast enough. You're going to take away his top development trait? That's absolutely ridiculous to me. But now we do have some very tough decisions to make, potentially, with our top free agents. Olivier Vernon, regression hit him hard as a now 30-year-old. He went down from an 89 to... Oh, that was with uh, confidence, but an 87 with confidence. Down to an 85... As a 30-year-old, he doesn't regress that much, or he shouldn't. Damon Harrison is regressing. He's down to an 84 overall now. And we're just in a tough spot with that. Because, I mean, they're impactful players. But they're just not... They wouldn't really be in the future plans. We have a lot of cap room, though. How do we want to play this? What's the franchise tag cost for Damon Harrison? What if I gave you two years, 3-3 three, three on the salary, 2-2-2 two, two, two on the bonus, just over 5 per year? He's going to test free agency? You're not. It's going to cost 
to bring back Damon Harrison for a one-year deal with the franchise tag. I'm not going to do that. We're going to play Lawrence Thomas. Olivier Vernon, what do we want to do with you? We got a good like third-string defensive tackle. He's fantastic. We drafted him in the first round. We're going to play him. What do I want to offer you? As someone that maybe won't even start at left end this year, you'd be a backup at... Well, he, he might start, actually. I'm, I don't know. I don't really want to offer him 30... How do we want to play this? I think I think we're just going to offer this flat. OV is going to go to free agency. I'm actually going to franchise tag him. It's 23.3. I can't do that. I cannot franchise tag Olivier Vernon. I can't. We're going to lose both of them. Wayne Gallman needs to be re-signed. He was a beast down the stretch. I'm going to offer him a multi-year deal and take down the money it's going to be just over two wayne gallman returns and the rest of the players will bring back shrek this is my swamp <laughs> welcome back mason shrek all right that was the re-signing period let's go ahead and uh, see what free agency has in store we have 63.5 million to spend who is available keenan allen okay Deshaun Watson's here. Cam Jordan, who would fit the scheme. The Day Man, 1992, with the new subscription via Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. There's some interesting options here. There really are. How do we want to play this? OV's here. I think we're going to go after the top priority guys. We got to commit to winning the Super Bowl here in year four and I mean let's just offer Keenan Allen a massive contract why not we have the money we have so much money this would be a lethal pairing can you imagine Keenan Allen and Odell Beckham Jr 100 points on Keenan Allen the chat really wants Deshaun Watson uh 93 throw power, 82 deep accuracy, 96 medium, 96 short, 85 speed, 97 break sack. It's like, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but is he really all that much better than Kyle Aletta? Kyle has better deep accuracy. Well, I guess it's the same without confidence. Medium accuracy near 90 is pretty good. 87 short's pretty good. It's just speed and break sack that he doesn't have, and he's not that much slower. He's not that much slower. His awareness is just low, and the break sack's low. I don't want Deshaun Watson. I'm not going to give him 20-plus per year when we have Kyle Laletta. There's no reason. And I know, I know, a lot of the comments are so split on keep Kyle, get rid of Kyle. Kyle Laletta is, is fine for now. Cameron Jordan. What can we offer you? What would this be in terms of points? 96 total points on Cameron Jordan. So we could slide Lorenzo Carter down. We're going to be in a tough spot if we don't do something about left end. Cornerback, Jordan Lewis is here. Desmond King, Nikhil Roby Coleman. Sidney Jones is interesting. Nobody's going after Sidney Jones? I mean, I'm going to offer him a contract. If nobody else will, are you kidding? I'll offer him a contract. We have the money. Derek Rivers, no. Raekwon McMillan is interesting. Elandon Roberts. What is Raekwon McMillan's speed? Should be around 80. 85. That is very, very good. This would also be a tremendous special teams player. And he'd be cheap. He'd be really cheap. 128? I'm fine with that. I know that seems ridiculous. It's really not that much. For a very solid backup. Hassan Reddick's here. Nobody wants Hassan Reddick? 89 speed. 81 finesse move. 
His coverage is terrible. He was a former safety at Temple. An outside linebacker slash edge hybrid. Uh, I want to offer him a lot of money. Not even that much, honestly, but 101 total points for Hassan Reddick. Backups? I mean, like, we sh we saw what happened when you don't have the depth when injuries happen. It was really, really bad. Left end, Trey Hendrickson, Taco Charlton. Don't really love the, uh, the left ends. Right ends, Charles Harris. What do we have with you? Former first round pick, 87 finesse move, 83 speed. He'd be a decent edge backup. What could we get you for? Again, we have a lot of money. Four year deal. We'll try that. We'll try that. Appreciate the bits, guys. Um, we could improve on the offensive line, but there's not much here. And I'm not getting a new center. It'd only be right guard. I think we're fine in the rest. Trent Brown disappoints me, but it's kind of... That's the situation. But that is the first round of free agency. I think we're fine on backup running back. Ooh, hold on here. Hold on a minute. Patrick Mahomes is here? Yeah, I know he's only an 81 overall. 97 throw power. 80 speed. High break sack. What would it cost to get you? 10 per year? Interesting. Interesting. We're going to offer Patrick Mahomes a contract. How about that? Six years. 102 million to Patrick Mahomes. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens here. Let's go ahead and simulate to the next week. Fingers crossed. Raekwon McMillan has accepted. Sidney Jones has accepted. Keenan Allen has accepted. Charles Harris accepted. Hassan Reddick accepted. And welcome to the New York Giants, both Cameron Jordan and Patrick Mahomes. Ooh. This has been a very active free agency. We had so much money freed up from Damon Harris and Olivier Vernon from that Jerry Reese free agency class with Jack, uh, Jack Rabbit, Janoris Jenkins. And all three of them are no longer on the team. And good lord. Do we have an interesting situation? So we have a tremendous receiving core. Odell, Keenan Allen, Sterling Shepard in the slot, Howard Russell. We have a potential quarterback battle between Kyle Aletta and Patrick Mahomes. And then on the defensive side of the ball, we've gotten better as far as depth goes. We brought in Hassan Reddick as a backup. We brought in Raekwon McMillan as a backup because our depth was just bad at those spots. We brought in Charles Harris as a backup, and we signed Cameron Jordan. 93 overall. He is older, but he's very good. He's basically a more developed Roman Pugh on the other side. That's what he equates to. Lawrence Thomas is going to take the place, essentially, for Damon Harrison. He's only 22 years old, quick development, and he's good. 83 block shed, 88 power move to go with 90 strength, 80 hit power. He has 70 speed, which is pretty good for defensive tackle. Why am I not looking for offensive linemen? Well, we have a pretty good offensive line. We're set at left tackle and right tackle. In fact, I might I might even flip Ryan Ramchek to left tackle, Trent Brown to right. Poe and Gardner is really the, the one weak spot on the entire offensive line, and there weren't really many good offensive linemen. And honestly, he's not the problem. His run blocking is good, and his pass blocking... Um, his pass blocking didn't really let us down. We didn't face a lot of pressure from right guard. As we get Grant K with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much, Grant. Let's head back into free agency. We still have about twenty million if we want to. We want to spend that. What would we even need? I don't know. I think we're pro we're probably fine. That would be the uh, the free agency signing period. It's the biggest class we've ever had by far. 
And I'll tell you what we can do now is go ahead and take these quarterbacks off our draft boards. I'm going to do some scouting, and we'll see how this works. Halfback, we're fine. Wide receiver, we should be fine. But, of course, we have Heisman winner Dequarius Henry here. 4 5 three, 40, great vertical. His top three skills are obviously amazing. We know he's going to be incredible. 4 3 flat, uh, flat speed for Davian Keel. This would be an excellent return, man. Great three cone, great uh, great 20 yard shuttle. So we know he's quick, explosive, elusive, powerful. He'd be a good player to get. This is a really good receiving class. Carter Goodrich out of New Mexico State looks phenomenal. He could be a good return, man. Good speed. He's also good at catching the football as well. This is a really good receiver class. We definitely didn't need Keenan Allen. But, uh, you know, why not when you can get him and pair him with Odell? Ross Farrier is pretty good. Where can we even improve? Cornerback is a position where we're weaker. But this class was pretty bad for cornerbacks. And I think our team is honestly pretty much set. We pick 19th overall, and we have a 4th, a 6th, and a 7th. Get to Quarius Henry, put him at tight end. Do you not see our tight end depth? We have Evan Ingram. We have DeMar Jacobs. Two great tight ends. They can't block, but they play the position well. But it is time to start the NFL Draft. Draft a quarterback. Let's. I'm going to pass on that. Let's see the draft board. The Vikings pick number one overall. Khalid Ashley. Davian Keel is at number six. I don't know if I want to trade up just yet. Vikings, number one overall. Go Aaron Cottom. Quarterback out of Clemson, 77 overall. Broncos, take Dequarius Henry, number two. I was not going to trade up to number two to take a receiver. I can guarantee you that. 84 overall. For Dequarius Henry, he looked phenomenal. Heisman winner. Curry Khan goes to the Niners out of Florida State. The Dolphins take Martin Holly out of Tennessee. Israel Savage is an 80 overall. He goes to the Bengals at number 5. Titans go Khalid Ashley out of Ohio State, 78 overall. Moses Davis, a tackle out of Nebraska, goes to the Bills. The Bucks take Tyree Morris, 82 overall, left end out of Wisconsin. Demetrios Bush goes to the Raiders, a left end out of Ole Miss. Davian Keel to the Ravens at number 10, 80 overall. I'm sure he'll be quite good. The Panthers strike out with this one, 73 overall. Sheldon Ellington out of NC State. And the Rams, once again, another team strikes out. Rob Mitrio in center out of Kansas State, 73 overall in the top 15. There goes the first running back. Taylor Trotter at left end. Goes Trey Worrell, another halfback. The Patriots take Aisha Connor, a safety. Aaron Jeffers, defense tackle out of Utah, goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Lions take Darby Robinson, another 73 overall. And we are officially on the clock. Who's here? Who do we want? Kent Raymond. 471 speed is pretty elite. For a rush linebacker he's got you know he tested fantastically uh from a physical standpoint has good pursuit good finesse move lewis hodge is overall worse what else would he even take here could take a cornerback but we don't really need it could take a middle linebacker he's not that fast not that good could take a guard ross ferrier out of nebraska and he would fit the scheme. Interesting. So we could potentially take another rookie offensive lineman to start year one. We don't really know a lot about him. We know that he has good impact block. Don't really know a lot else about his blocking. Decent run blocker. Could be a terrible pass blocker. He's very strong and he's quick. Speed's not fantastic. Where does Kent Raymond fit into our system? Could we change to a 3-4? No. Well, maybe. 
Ken Raymond wouldn't fit into it, though. He'd be just a rush linebacker in certain packages. But I really like him as a player. We're going to take him. He's an 81 overall, ranked number four in the class. We took him at number 19. He has 80 tackle, 83 hit power, 83 speed, 88 acceleration, 86 pursuit, 84 finesse move with 80 block shed, 80 strength. Good zone coverage even, 73. 80 strength, I said that. 74 awareness. Not bad. Top five player in the draft class. That's okay. It's not too bad. I don't need to pause. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> First round is shaking up in a, a decent way here. A lot of teams are just like taking bad players. Steve Holt, Darren Ellis, Perry McCullough, Glenn Morris, Dondre Wade, Jared Kilmer. These are just bad players. There goes Ross Ferrier. He was a 78 overall. So he would have been the same overall as Pone Gardner, which means unless he has great development, I probably wouldn't have drafted him. Let's go ahead and simulate to our fourth round pick. And see what is here. They said they upgraded the uh, updated the draft screen. I don't really notice a change. Do you guys notice anything? I don't really notice anything different from the previous drafts I've had. Maybe there is. I just I just don't know of it. What is the move here? Do I have anyone on my entire draft board available? We do. D'Amico Lawson. He is slow as anything. My receivers are off the board. Again, I didn't need one. But I'm, you know, I'm just curious as the next guy to see who might be the next best beast we could take. Uh, there's not really even a point to taking this pick. Let's just take a uh, hybrid. He's really just a defensive end. D'Amico Lawson, 70 overall. He's going to be playing a defensive end. That overall will probably go up a little bit. 89 hit power, 82 power move. 72 speed. Not that good. Not going to lie. Not that good. But that is going to be the draft for us. Not too bad. We don't really need much. Let's see who were the best players in the draft. I would guarantee Dequarius Henry is number one. And I am so glad that they finally added the NFL logos to the background of these. So you can tell which team, uh, you know, took which player. That's fantastic. Dequarius Henry is the best in the draft class. Curry Khan, number two. Tyree Morris, number three. And then a bunch of players, or two tied for 81. A bunch of players tied for 80. So we took a top four player in Kent Raymond. He's got good speed. It's just, where do we play him? The quarterbacks overall are not great. 77 overall, 78. There's an 80. Jacoby Hansen was the best quarterback in the class, it looks like. 88 throw power. This is an unusable player. He's very bad, in my opinion. Where was... Where's the quarterback? Searles, 78. How good are you? 93 throw power, 80 deep, 83 medium, 84 short, 71 speed. He's a way worse Kyle Aletta. He's way worse. Everyone wanted me to draft the quarterback. Like, these quarterbacks are not good. There's no reason, there'd be no reason to take any of these guys. Kyle was uh, supremely better than any of the options in the draft. But I think our new quarterback might be Pat Mahomes. It just might be. Hey, damn, he looks good in that giant blue. But this is this could be a very, very good team here. 97 offense, 99 defense. I mean, this just this just might not even be fair for season number four. I'm gonna be honest. It just might not even be fair. Is Raekwon McMillan now back to a 76 overall? 77 overall without the confidence weighing in. But damn, that was a pretty good offseason, I'd say. Let's go ahead and uh, get into a preseason game, maybe. You're going to do me like this again? Last season, we had a preseason matchup for, uh, for the video against the Dolphins. If you guys recall, the Dolphins had Eli Apple at that particular time. The Dolphins still have Eli Apple? They don't. Oh, wait, actually, it's free safety. They still don't. They cut him. Where's Eli Apple? <laughs> Thank God we don't have to play him this year. He had, like, seven picks in that game. I'm not even joking. Like, in simulation, 
He had like seven picks. I threw a few of them. I'm not going to lie. But good God. All right, let's see how some of these new players perform as members of the New York Football Giants. We will be playing the moments. I can guarantee you that. All right, here we go. First quarter drive, take the lead, and we get to see what Patrick Mahomes looks like as a member of the New York Giants. What I will say is I have not made up my mind about a starter. I know that sounds crazy. Ooh, that feels like a slow-ass release from Mahomes, and that is dropped. Who dropped that? Was that DeMar Jacobs? Trade Mahomes for picks? That's got to be one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. Mahomes, lob, end zone, Keenan Allen. Not quite. Ugh. Appreciate you, Kaysen. Let's go DeMar Jacobs. That's a good truck save. You guys are not following and subscribe to the second channel, I should say. I would very much appreciate if you check that out. Call of Duty and Red Dead on there. And especially Red Dead 2 when that comes out. In the third channel for funny videos. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. But I would appreciate you checking them out. Maybe seeing it if it's for you. That'd be pretty cool. Links as always in the description in the chat right now. Let's get Saquon Barkley a touch. And that's all he needed. <laughs> all he needed was one touch. Untouched. End zone. Touchdown. Let's see what Tannehill will do. It's a screen. Fuck. Kenyon Drake, huge gain. I don't like that, by the way. When you hit stick him out of bounds and the, like, the play keeps going on. I don't understand that. Here's a run. Nowhere to go. BJ Goodson in the backfield. Third and nine now for the Dolphins. And we get to see this. Hopefully the best defense in the entire league. Step up and play well. Third down is the most important down in football, arguably. And that pass is dropped. In and out of the hands of what? Mike Gesicki? And they're going to kick a field goal. Lee in motion. Hand off again. This time, it is Jacobs. I have no idea who you are because you are not a real player. I want to call him like Chester. We got Raymond in the box now. Backups in for the most part. Kent Raymond. First round draft pick. He watched that one happen, I guess. Lawrence Thomas made the tackle. He's starting for the first time this year. Laletta back in the game. This is what I'm talking about. It's Kyle Laletta time. Outside. Odell. Touchdown. It's, I don't know, man. There's something about Kyle Laletta. There's just something about him. He's a playmaker. It's a weird receiving group. Howard Russell turns into that number one. Rolling out with Kyle Aletta on the run for Wayne Gallman. The hurdle. Broken neck. Oh, Julius Manning. Bruce Sternum out for the game. All right. It's the way she goes sometimes. Second goal. Kyle Aletta throwing the slant to Howard Russell who drops it. Story of his career. Stop hurling. Dude, I have to keep doing it. <laughs> Sorry. Stepping up with Kyle. I wanted circle. Throwing it to him. He hit his back turn. Wayne Gallman touchdown. We had circle wide open. I think it was like... It was Caesar Mack or Casey McKay or somebody. Just wide open. Didn't notice. Didn't throw it. Here we go, Kyle. Just go with that over the middle. That's Caesar Mack. Dude, Kyle Aletta. 10 for 13, 111, 
two touchdowns. I honestly feel like Kyle Aletta is better. <laughs> it's going to be episode one of this new season is going to be really interesting. As Kyle Aletta on the move, under pressure, throws a strike. Howard Russell's open, picks up the first down. He's a playmaker. This is what he brings to the table. Triangle is open. Fucking you play the game, dude. I don't give a shit. And we don't decide to throw the screen. We got Odell. Touchdown. He should not be playing. He's receiver one. We have backups. Unreal. They're not going for it. They're punting. Interesting. You're playing the second string defense? Yeah, but like also, Loletta's a beast. So, I don't know what to tell you. DeMar Jacobs in at fullback. Can we get him out on a route? Let's get DeMar Jacobs on a route. Ooh, that did not press R1 when I pressed, or it didn't throw. Okay. All right. We're just going to watch the rest of the game. All right, they're going for it. Down by a lot. Dominique Easley in the game. Patrick Wright, Lawrence Thomas. Charles Harris, Kent Raymond, he could be a fun player. And Lawrence Thomas is not having any of it. The fullback, Tommy Bohannon, shut down. Howard Russell having a great game in the preseason. Pretty much, I mean, I, you know what? He had some good games last season. I'm not going to take that away from him. He just drops way too many passes. Yeah, I think I think it is time. I think I'm going to put Howard Russell back on kick return. Laletta, beautiful lob pass. It's off the hands of uh, Casey McKay. He is bad at catching the ball. Are we going for it here? All right, cool. Fourth and three. They're blitzing. We're rolling out with Kyle. Nothing but space. Kyle Laletta. Even tried for the spin move there. What a run. Got a slide in preseason, but Kyle is not about it. Ooh, DeMar Jacobs on a fade. One-on-one. -on -one. I like that matchup. High point. DeMar Jacobs, touchdown. Look at the precision passing from Kyle Laletta. You can't find this anywhere else. Unbelievable. And that is the ball game. And that will also... Likely be the off-season stream video. Uh, I will turn off whatever for simulation. I will turn off injuries for simulation so nobody gets injured when we simulate to week one. But that's going to do it for me for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. This was a much shorter off-season, I'm sure, than usual. There's a lot less to do. Huge free agent class. Didn't really have the draft picks. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.